Well, I think there is a way to use Lightning. So uh, we're heavily using the Liquid Network for all of our blockchain tech in, in Infinite Fleet. So the game currency is a Liquid asset. Um, in Liquid, uh, we can talk about Liquid more in a bit, but uh, Liquid has stable coins. It's got uh, other games that are building on it, like Light Knight. Um, it's got uh, NFTs, like uh, we launched Rear Toshi. It's an art website focused on Bitcoin related art that is making NFTs on Liquid. Uh, but you can pr pretty much do anything on Liquid. So we're using that to issue our game currency. And we're also using that, that to do the NFTs for the ships. But there is a purpose here. Um, I think you could argue that games are a stronger use case for NFTs than just artwork, right? Um, and art NFT is more like a certificate. And there are use cases like enforcing royalties on it. But for a game, what we hope to do is uh, allow players to do atomic swaps. So you can basically trade in the marketplace and every trade is actually an atomic swap. So if I'm trading with you, Ricardo, um, I have INF currency and you have a ship that I want, then when we do that trade, it's a trustless exchange. So it's either executed all at once or not at all. And this can prevent a lot of things like scamming. So if you even decide to not use our marketplace, but just like, you know, move your INF to an external wallet, like um, I don't know, side swap and move your ships to side swap, then you can actually use side swap to swap too. Um, and you're not reliant on one provider, right? So it's kind of facilitating that um, disintermediation where there's no single point of failure because all of these assets are now tradable on the liquid chain. And I think the, the benefit here is that really it facilitates that trustless trade, but also you can have new dynamics. So if you played like a lot of MMO games with guilds, you know that people will try to infiltrate a guild and get access to the guild bank, right? And then they'll, they'll loot the bank. Then there's a famous instance of this happening in EVE Online. But with the INF as the game currency and as a crypto token, you could set up a multi-sig wallet with the, the, the guild treasury members, right? And then no one can loot the guild. So there's a lot more interesting things that are possible now. And this opens up uh, a lot more of that to discovery by players. And it's interesting to see what they will do with it.